Hi guys, so today I'm gonna to do the furry friend tag with my newest furry friend. I've told you I've gotten a puppy and I've gotten some questions about him and yeah, so I thought I would just answer them. If you have more questions, let me know down below. I'm just, I just found the furry friend tag and I thought I would just share them with you um, just so that if you see him, we'll, get, we'll go over that. But in case you see him in videos, that's why. So the first one is, what is your animal's name? His name is Sky, S-K-Y. So there's that. My husband, we were trying to name him because where we got him at, they wanted to like make a collar for him. So, you know, if he gets lost, he also is microchipped. But, um, so we couldn't think of a name. We have a dog named Leo. We have a cat named Bid and we have, um, a cat named Oliver. And, um, all three of those, well, Ben and Leo, we got at the Humane Society. So Ben's like real name that the Humane Society gave him was Benji. And Leo is actually Leoninus. Um, but we just call him Ben and Leo. And then Ollie's real name, like when we first got him, his name is Oliver. But I we call him Ollie. Um, and so we have shorter names. But um, yeah, my husband goes, what about Sky? So that's how this guy got his name. We were in line about to pay like about to make his tag and my husband goes what about sky and the person checking us out wanted to put e at the end and i said nah let's not what kind of pet is it and what breed he is a dog no can you see him if you want to see more pictures definitely check out my instagram i have posted some pictures of him um or snapchat either one both of those are linked down below and you can see more pictures and videos of him but he is a mini american eskimo dog which means he'll probably be about Leo's size. Leo's about 20 pounds. Yeah, so he's gonna be about 20 pounds. He's gonna be white and fluffy. If you've seen the proposal, that's what made me fall in love with this type of dog. Uh, this is a dog that gets taken away by the hawk. Yeah, this is the puppy. How long have you had your pet friend? We got him the end of June, so three weeks or so, and he's been doing so well. Like I said, he is a puppy, because um, the next question, I believe, is how... Oh no, next one is how did you receive your pet? My husband and I had talked about getting a second dog for quite some time. It had never been something like super serious that we talked about, but we had talked about getting a second dog. We wanted a dog that was gonna be similar size to Leo and stuff. Um, and so we went to a pet store actually. Like I said, we've gotten all of our animals at Humane Society. We've looked at the Humane Society. We've looked at like the Facebook, like Marketplace and a bunch of other places where you can get animals, um, like res rescue them. And there hasn't been a dog that we wanted. We were mainly looking at Shelties, Shetland Sheepdogs and Mini Aussies or American Australian Shepherds, which is what Leo is. Just because we like that type of dog and the dogs that we've seen with those breeds, we've really, really enjoyed. So, um, he's so tired. So that's what we were looking at. So we went to the pet store. I saw this white fluffy dog and I was like, mm. and then like we figured out what it was and we figured it was gonna be about the same size. So we looked at him and then we actually also looked at a, they had a mini Aussie there, which is the same, like I said, um, breed as Leo, who's our other dog. And um, Flynn was with us and Skye did so well with Flynn and he did well like when Flynn was crying or if I was holding Flynn, like, he wanted our attention, yes. He was playful, yes. But he wasn't like aggressive or mean or like pushy, I guess. I, I don't know if that makes sense. Like he just like had a good personality. Flynn kind of pulled his hair, like not being mean, but you know, cause he's a year and a half and doesn't know how to pet a dog. And so he does. Re he did really well. He does really well with Flynn. The other, the mini Aussie, we did not like his temperament at all. Um, he was really jealous. He was really just, yeah, he just didn't go well with Flynn. Um, so, and then especially being pregnant and being due in October, we wanted a dog that obviously was good with kids. That's important to us. Anyways, that's how we got Sky. is we went in looking and we came out with a dog. Yeah, while being pregnant and having a one and a half year old and redoing our house. And people thought we were crazy, which we probably are, but. He's, he is a really good dog. How old is your pet? He was born on April 9th of this year. So he's, I think like 15, 14, 15 weeks. 
What are some quirky aspects of your pet's personality? Like I said, we haven't had him for too long. Um, he loves people, like loves people. He gets really upset like when Andy leaves in the morning for work, he like barks and like wants him to come back. If we, he had, does have like separation anxiety, so when we leave him, we're trying to crate train him. Um, Leo is not crate trained, but we do want, especially with our renovation, this dog needed to be crate trained. Um, and so he does whine if you're not constantly with him. He loves being cuddled and held most of the time. He's getting really hot right now. Um, but like he'll cuddle and yeah. So the quirky thing is he just has some separation anxiety and some issues. And I don't know what Leo does when we're gone. Like I don't know if Leo is in the room with him because it always seems like Leo comes from like the room that we keep him in but when we get home, but I don't know. So that's quirky. Are you quirky? Yep. Yep. Very quirky. This says, what does your connection to your dog imply, imply to you? I love that he's so cuddly. None of our, like Flynn is, Flynn is getting more cuddly recently, but our other animals like Leo does not, like wants to be near you, but doesn't want to be on top of you. Same with one of our cats, like wants to be like super near you and want its attention, but does not want you holding him. And then one of our cats just doesn't like to be held. Um, <laughs> or near you or whatever he's a nice guy he just like needs space so i really enjoy right now that it's like he likes to cuddle and just like i don't know i just like that i like he'll like he'll cut it with me so i'm gonna let him down for a second because like i said i think he's getting hot yeah he's gonna go lay right on the air vent which is something i guess I, another quirk he's he likes to lay on the air vents i think it's because it gets hot number eight what are your favorite pastimes with your dog i kind of mentioned that i like the cuddling um that he does a lot like i like that he will lay on you and sleep on you um like i said he does sleep in a crate but like for naps or like if i'm watching tv or what um i also i like going on walks but i like going on walks with leo too so it's not specifically just a sky i also like um, playing with him because he'll play tug of war and just watching him and Flynn interact is so funny because they're both like in that toddler age and so they just get in so much trouble together and it annoys me but it's so funny sometimes. Um, one of your pet's nicknames, the only nickname that I call him besides Sky, I think my husband might call him White Dog or something like that because that's what he does with all animals but one nickname that I call him Sometimes it's like Sky Sky, I guess. Like I just put his name twice together like really fast. Um, but he doesn't really have any nicknames yet. Um, Flynn can't say Sky, so the closest he's gotten is like Kai. But I wouldn't say that's like a nickname. Flynn just can't say the S-K sound together yet or whatever. He's still working on speaking. Um, so I don't think he has like any nicknames. And like I said, his name's so short that he doesn't have a nickname um, with that. But that is all of the furry friend tag questions. Let me know if you have any other questions. I'll answer them down below. And if there's a lot, I'll do another video. Um, if you do have other questions, you can always check out my vlog channel, which is always linked at the end um, because I have, I have been vlogging every day since getting him. And he's in the vlogs quite often because like I said, him and Flynn get into some trouble and he's always with me because we're potty like he's getting potty trained and crate trained and like in our renovation like he always has to be with me pretty much unless he's in his crate um which isn't too often when we're here sometimes i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you have gotten a puppy recently or an animal um and yeah i'll talk to you all later bye